Hi there, we are going to go to two Goodwills in this video. Uh, this is the Good Big Goodwill and I'm with Jocelyn. And the first thing that caught my eye was this cute little clear glass kitty cat. And then this hobbyist piece. And I like that you could put a votive candle underneath it. And I thought that was adorable. So I put that in my cart and they were doing uh, some restocking and I grabbed the Hang On Harvey and the Mr. Big puzzle. And then there was this piece that I thought maybe someone had made it, like put it together, and then it had a Made in China sticker on the back. I thought that was clever, you know, kind of found objects, the washboard, you could hang it in the laundry room. And here Jocelyn graciously found me another ceramic pony bead. I have all the ceramic pony beads listed in my store. And just when I was making fun of buying driftwood, I bought some driftwood. These look like they're in the shape of hooks. That's why I grabbed those. And then I was wondering what this was. This was some kind of magic trick or magic string. Some, it had the word magic on the box, on the block. So, and then I was looking for another purple candlestick for Jocelyn. And I came across this Pyrex red fridge or refrigerator dish in perfect condition. Well, I mean, almost perfect condition. This was also on a cart that they were restocking, a blow mold. I can't find a date on it. I don't believe it's too terribly, terribly old, but regardless, it does work. And I thought this was cute. This is faux paper mache of a bunny rabbit. I like the little paper necklace wreath thing around her neck. And then everyone needs an angel in a bathtub for the soap, right? <laughs> so I'm showing Jocelyn, hey, look at this. But she was finding cooler things. She was finding the fairy lamps. Jocelyn figured it out. Happy. Now it got even cuter. Those are fairy lights. Look at that. Boom. Ta-da. That's cute. Look at you. <laughs> and then I found this. This is chalkware. It's from 1968 Miller Studio. And it cleaned up so nicely. It was, there was just the one. I was seeing if there was a white one maybe or a smaller black one, but I could not find any. Then I thought this was unusual, this lighthouse picture. And on the back, it did seem like it was, you know, reprints of some artwork that they put into this frame and they even added the fishing net. See the back there made me think that this was probably a souvenir piece from the shore. And then there were some snow babies. I thought this lampshade was really nicely done. I bet that would look cute, you know, with the light glowing through and glowing up those snowmen. And these were some snow baby ornaments. And I was just seeing if there was anything terribly exciting about them. They look like they were the same thing. And so I left those there. They have a huge selection of Christmas right now. And... I like this book. I like the graphics on this book. It's a one of those tall books and it has some age to it. I thought someone might like it for a display or to even actually read. And then here was this plastic canvas Noel. And then I found this wreath and I thought that maybe it could have been, it looked Swedish or Norwegian in design. But then after I played with it way too long, I decided, no, I didn't like it that much. I don't know. It then, I mean, it was okay. But I decided not for me. And hidden in the Christmas were these two little schnauzer puppy dogs. I did mean to pick those up, but I got distracted and I left them on the shelf. Then in the more, we're still in the Christmas, but in another Christmas section, there was a whole bunch of these, you know, Mary and Joseph and Jesus figurines. This one was different with the sparkly, shiny, mirrored pieces. Those were some vintage Tupperware, but they were missing their lids. And then here was another Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus and I think an angel. And that one... I think it was electric yeah no yes there it goes you could put the tea light in the back and then I found this 
kind of sticking out, I said, oh, that's Santa Claus. And so I had to unbury him because he was buried by these stockings. And it's kind of anticlimactic because once I finally got him out, he had a lot of surface wear to him. He was quite large. So the size and the wear was cute, though. I decided to leave that for somebody else to get. And just looking at some more Christmas here. Always on the hunt for vintage stuff. And then in the back, there was this very large tablecloth for your Hanukkah table. And there were just, there's just a few areas that need to be cleaned up. But I thought that was a really nice tablecloth. And this was a new in the package puzzle for only 99 cents. So I got that. And then these, I think, were candles. I even asked Jocelyn, I was like, what are these? It was by Orvis. I wasn't quite sure what those were. They look like they were corks that you could stick in your bottle. I'm not sure. Then this was some, uh, I believe it's brushed gold. I had gotten that bowl the other day, and then I thought this was neat. Then I realized when I got home how terrible it's going to be to try to photograph it because it's so reflective. <laughs> So, oh well. And then I thought this was really cute, this little mouse peeking up over this ball of cheese. Uh, oh, I guess it's a ball of cheese ornament. That's cute though. See who it is? It's a dragon for everyone born in those years. <laughs> He's cute, huh? Look at eyes. I was getting out the camera for this one mushroom candlestick holder or salt and pepper shaker and just like that you are now with Jenny and me at another Goodwill I found this trinket box different I'd never seen anything like it and when I went to do some research on it I found one that looked like sneakers so because I'd never seen it and because it was made in the USA I thought I'm gonna pick you up so I did and then this caught my eye for a second. And then when I picked it up, I realized it was probably like paint your own pottery piece. That's, that would be count. that would be half a point. It does not count. It does count. No, it does not. Me high five. High five. Yay! It does not count. It counts a little bit. No, it doesn't. It doesn't count. I, no, I use my a one hand. Unfortunately, Jenny would not give me even half a point for even finding half a praying hand. <laughs> and then, look, there it was, waiting for me. Let's just take a moment to admire its beauty. Everything is there. Yes, $12.99. Yes, I did take it. They're not chipped. They're a little worn from being in the, in the holder in some places. But I love it. I love it so much. It's so heavy. This will definitely be, definitely be a local pickup. And then in the silver aisle, there were a whole bunch of these candlestick holders. And then we found some art. But when I went to pick it up, it was surprisingly light. So it was only $3.99 for some art. And then this caught my attention. It was unmarked. I went back and forth. I thought maybe, yes, I just liked it. I even checked for chips or cracks. And then I thought, no, I'm going to leave that for somebody else. And then this was a Holland mold of Mary. And I did put it up top because it was so thin feeling. I was afraid it might get chipped. So I moved her to the top shelf. And then this was another hobbyist piece done in that kind of opalescent, pearlescent shininess. And then these two little kitty cats. I think these are probably from the 80s because they have stickers on the bottom that say they were from a gift shop in Florida. And those were just an add-on, those pink rosebud thingy majiggies. And so I decided to take those little kitty cats. And then when I put them in my cart, I looked down and this planter caught my eye and it is Louisville pottery. So I thought that was pretty cool to find. I'd never found Louisville stoneware or pottery before at this Goodwill. So that went in the cart. And then I was kind of a little surprised to see that these were $6.99 a piece because they were originally $16 new at the store. But that's okay. I got a beautiful 
you know, tumbler set for $12. So, and then this whole basket of gourds was only $1.99. And if you were wondering how many gourds, pumpkins, squashes, all of the above are in the basket, and if you guessed 14, you are correct. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see ya.